this is a time when never before have we seen disciplines coming together to try to fight certain diseases, certain forms of mental illness. It's like no other time in history. We're finally beginning to talk the same language. We're finally beginning to recognize the benefits of looking from molecule all the way to bedside treatment. And this, I think, is why the enthusiasm of not only my colleagues in working together, because we are coming together as a whole, but our students to, to be a student again and to have these opportunities and take it to the next step is just, is, it's just lovely. The students generate this real passion for the science that we all have, but with every new student and every new idea, it just emerges. What I really cherish about being here is I can honestly say I love coming to work every day. I really think that we're on the edge of taking our science to the next step where it's really going to make a difference in children's lives in terms of understanding who's going to respond to what treatment and what the basis of that treatment is. We all are interested in the questions. We're not trying to prove any hypothesis. What we're trying to do is go where the science takes us so that we're going to make the most important step that we can further in understanding mental illness, its treatment, but more importantly, understanding its prevention. That's absolutely key. The majority of the research in my laboratory and also in the neuroscience uh, program here at Weill has um, very much to do with development of the brain and really trying to understand how that development goes awry. Um, we've been able, by trying to think about disorders not as occurring overnight, but as a progression over years of development, by beginning to understand it uh, as a function of development, we see sensitive windows when not only is a child perhaps more vulnerable to a disorder, and now most of our research here has been on that period of adolescence, when there's so many stressors on the child in terms of social situations. Adolescence itself is defined as moving from dependence on parents to independence, and um, really the responsibility that comes with that. And also the exposure they have to um, challenging situations and peer pressure for substances and the sort. What we're beginning to understand is the brain isn't just developing in a very linear pattern, but um, with an inflection during this period, where we can identify children who may be at greatest risk for some of the disorders um, related to anxiety and stress, but this is also a period of real uh, sensitivity to interventions that we think have possibilities for working during this period of time. And I think if that's all we do in the next five years, to save someone from going through trial after trial of treatments that aren't working for their child or their family, um, that that is actually doing a lot until we can go forward and really begin to prevent these illnesses, which again is, is what we have to do. We don't want to wait until they have a diagnosis. We have to prevent so they never even come into the clinic. What's lovely about this community that so truly wants to collaborate, not compete, but collaborate, is that it's infiltrating all of New York City. It's amazing how many collaborations this university has and the members, the faculty and the student across New York City and internationally. Um, but the fact that we're beginning to work together as a team and not thinking that we each have to beat the other in terms of making a difference um, is, is truly inspiring. I mean, I think this is going to be how we make the difference, is as this interdisciplinary team working together to battle the enemy, which um, can be anything from uh, disease to, uh, to uh, some of these subtle mental illnesses that I have no doubt we're going to be able to prevent uh, in the coming uh, five to ten years. I know this probably sounds very, um, um, it's really truthful. Just that uh, I consider my colleagues in this place a family. And that's a good thing because I actually really have a, a nice family.